While the whole of internet is complaining that there is no scope in biotech, I am the only person standing here in Bangalore in Biotechnica telling you that there is scope, there is career, there is future. But then students come and ask me how, where, when, how can we get it? So in this video, we are going to answer all of that and I am going to tell you some career hacks which will help you get there and grab that job. The job which you always dreamt of in the company which you always wanted to join. So watch this video till the end. Probably I'm going to share more than 50 tips today. Uh, I'll try to be as brief and concise as possible because I know your time is valuable. So as a student, as a bio professional, as a person who wants to make a career in the biotech industry, you need to know that hacks exist. And if you use these hacks, then you will not be that person five years later complaining that there is no scope. People who complain about that are those who do not apply these hacks in their career. Now, the first things first, imagine a big city like Bangalore, right? So, a person who is living in the North Bangalore, okay, and the person who is living in the South Bangalore, they may not know each other, right? But if it is a smaller city, let us say, a very small city, probably in a small or a small village, we can say, right? So let's say a village, right? So what happens? Now, uh, A and B know each other by face, right? Biotech in India is like a village. Everybody knows the other person by face. In fact, anywhere I walk in, people will say, hey, we know you, right? The reason being, it is such a small industry. It's not that huge. And that means if and only if you do networking, okay? Networking is the word. If you network, then only you can get a job, okay? So networking is very important. Now, networking is all about giving. The more you give, the more you get, right? So you have to contribute more to the biotech industry by whatever you do. And you will see all this happening. Now, coming to the second hack, and that is staying up to date now why because i'll just draw this as a you know figurative india's map okay so even though the biotech industry is small it is spread it is spread across this you know country i'm just trying to i cannot i don't i have less time so I'm, i've drawn india like this so it's not india of course it's just a figure figure of speech so let us say that you have a job in ahmedabad you have these pockets somewhere, Bangalore, Hyderabad, Chennai, right? So these are the pockets, Delhi, Ahmedabad, Bangalore, Hyderabad, Chennai. These are the pockets and companies are around this. Now, how many companies? There are more than 10,000 startups and more than 500 pharmaceutical plus biotech companies, right? And combined, they are employing more than 10 lakh people in the biotech industry combined more than that okay and I'm talking about scientists I'm not talking about allied okay because each company is employing more than five scientists okay so that is where there are a lot of companies and lot of opportunities in fact companies struggle to get the right right now the question to be asked is if you are somewhere in Madhya Pradesh or Chhattisgarh Bihar uh, Rajasthan or somewhere in other parts of India and if you're looking for a job in your city you won't get it somebody on the other day on, on YouTube commented that I think all the jobs are in Bangalore that's true most of the jobs are in Bangalore most of the jobs are in Karnataka which is contributing the most to the, the GDP of the country right so you have jobs in Karnataka you have jobs in Telangana Tamil Nadu you have jobs in Gujarat you have jobs in Delhi you have jobs in Himachal Pradesh Right, to some extent, some parts of Uttar Pradesh. So you don't have jobs everywhere. You have to remember this. Even though the industry is small, it is not at one place. So if you are in these cities, you can get it. If you're not in these cities, you will still struggle. Remember that. Now the next hack is, this is where expectations don't match. So this is academia, this is industry, and this is the gap. Now, this is the gap which you have. Academia is talking about still genes while the industry has already surpassed CRISPR and now they are getting into advanced form of CRISPR, right? 
academy is still teaching you probably uh, uh, basics of uh, uh, you know bioinformatics while industry is into advanced bioinformatics tools right so this is where the gap is and this gap if it is not filled you will not get a job and that is what you say whatever who is come whoever is commenting is because see the colleges cannot keep up with the industry because industry is moving very fast these guys it's not their fault these guys are very fast okay so to bridge this gap you have certifications internships workshops okay conferences all this you have to attend okay don't just get busy with all the work academy gives you have to spend time with the industry folks and the best way to do that is biotechnica we are here to bridge this gap unless this gap is bridged you cannot jump from here to there my dear friend and that is why most people complain that i could not get a job the truth is you are not jumping the truth is you are not working on yourself learning today is earning tomorrow remember that so that's the third hack for today now staying updated that's the fourth hack if you're not saying up yourself keeping yourself up to date then it is going to be a problem that is where we come into picture what is happening in the industry what is happening in the academia what is happening what kind of jobs industry is looking you have biotechnica times newsletter you get a free subscription and this has been there for last 18 years go subscribe the link is in given in the description if you subscribe this you get all the up to date latest news latest updates from the industry so that you can prepare yourself for the industry and don't think when at the 11th hour you will start preparing that's not how it works you have to start subscribing to biotechnica newsletter right when you are in the bsc level first year of bsc subscribe by the time you finish your masters you will know what you have to do right now the next one which i have for you is publish papers now most students shy away because it is difficult so what is dif- whatever is difficult you will you know shy away from it but remember either you publish or you perish the more you publish the more you build to your reputation okay if your reputation is strong your branding is strong your branding is strong that's how people will come and invite you for a job what's going on you see which brand comes into your picture you'll say apple you'll say google why because they've done branding have you done your branding no how do you do your branding publish more papers okay create a impact factor in the journals and then you go ahead go into academy or industry they will respect you i know a professor assistant professor from amity university okay he worked there for 3 years and he was clueless he was not getting a job so he took a job in amity but he kept applying into the industry and then today he is the chief scientific officer of a biotech company right here in bangalore uh, bio innovation center how he did, did that he published and then he built a reputation and based on that reputation industry welcomed him so publish 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 that's very important the next hack for you would be mentorship now can you go from delhi by road to bangalore without google map yes but it will take a lot of lot of time you may go off road you may go in the wrong direction right you may end up reaching mumbai mentor he shows you the direction he gets the gets you there right my mentor has guided me through so many difficult parts of running a company because he was right there whenever i was stuck right and he goes a long way in helping me that is where you have to find a mentor who is there for you right and i'm there for you if you want me to be your mentor i'm there for you so hire a mentor reach out to a mentor if you have to pay also do it but have a mentor but if you have a mentor that is where you can grow because he will to tell you what's right what's wrong because he would have guided so many people right that's very important. the next hack is volunteers so in one of my videos i told you v a s t volunteer as a service right volunteer as a service vast formula so what exactly it is if even if you are not getting a job or while you are still studying reach out to some biotech ceos it is very easy to reach out to biotech ceos you should know this go to their linkedin message them there they will definitely reply right and tell them that i am looking for i i want to help you whatever you are doing just hire me i will not charge anything i'll just volunteer i want to see how a biotech company works 
once you get in and you meet people face to face remember the first point you will network when you network automatically it will convert into a job right so there are multiple such hacks actually i have 50 i think 40 more hacks to share but probably now this video is getting longer so i'll stop here maybe in the next video we'll share some more hacks but remember the playlist is going to be called as biotech career hacks and this is the first episode now coming to you you have a choice the choice is whether you will believe those anonymous comment by irresponsible people who are going on internet and saying there is no scope or you will choose this that you will follow the hacks which i am sharing with you and then finally you will get there what where you want to be choice is yours but the choice has to be made today if you are a pessimistic person a person who is negative you will always think that there is no scope my dear friend mechanical engineering has no scope civil engineering has no scope so so many people come to me and say computer engineering has no scope right many it people come and say i did a mistake by joining it right so it's not about the field it's all about your passion if you enjoy your work you're definitely going to be successful so i'll meet you in the next video where we will discuss more of the hacks for now thank you so much for watching and do comment below if i missed some points or maybe you would like to add something let's create a community where we all help each other and the biotech industry wins you win all the best